three in a row. Then they won three in a row. But now they've lost if they lose. Just, just kind of hang out, just hang in there. Aaron Rodgers now in the past. Yeah, Aaron was saying relax as he said in Green Bay, but nothing to relax about and stop the presses. That's a first down on a pass to Brees Hall. That is only the third first down for the Jets as you look at Rodgers. One was on a, a Brees Hall run, that one on a pass, and the other was by a penalty. Biggest game of the night. Yeah. Pass is caught. And then uh, it's Garrett Wilson. So Jalen Ramsey, who's been really good for this as he came back, he was hurt, missed the first part of the season, has had three picks a couple last week, but uh, not thrown. Well, of course, with that Jets offense, not yeah. throwing at anybody tonight. No, it, and it's just great to see him back. And they said the work that he's put in in practice, not just with his first team defense, but with his scout team, just to get into game shape. Second and one. And sliding to a stop. Crowd wants a flag for a late hit, won't get it. It's Jalen Phillips coming in as Tim Boyle gets back to uh, just about the line of scrimmage after that. That was a win, right? Just to get back to the line of scrimmage. The second one, I think I thought he's about to get sacked by by Wilkins, and instead he only loses a yard or two, but gives him a chance here on third down. Still trying to convert. Their first third down of the night. Spotted where he started the slide, so third and three. And that's fired up to the 50 yard line and hold in. Tyler Conklin making the grab there. First down. Well, they can't convert on third down, but they, they convert here on a fourth down. Yeah, Ball, 0 for 7 on third, 1 for 1 on fourth. Best thing he did is got the ball out quick that time. Yep. It's in that quick this time because he was pressured. That's incomplete. There, you know, there's so many pieces to the Dolphins defense that get overlooked. Wilkins, I, I know, can make a lot of plays in the inside. I think David Long, 51, along with Van Ginkle, what they brought to the to the middle. Van Ginkle's an outside linebacker. He's never played middle linebacker in his career. But Vic Fangio said, I just have a, a kind of a gut feeling that this kid can help us and get him on the field with Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb on the outside. So this is a, a unit that's really coming together in recent weeks. Well, down he goes at the 43-yard line. Raquan Davis will get that sack. So third down and 16. Now that's the fourth sack of the game for the Dolphins. And the beautiful thing is you, you get pressure. Davis gets the sack, but how about the pressure on the outside by Phillips and, and Ogba? Third down 15. Little dump off here. And getting within a couple of yards of picking up the first down is Dalvin Cook. First year here after six years in Minnesota. She so got fourth down. So again, no third down conversion. We'll try for fourth. Yeah. Why not? Yeah. Fourth and call it three. Five wide. Pass is caught, spinning away. The 35 yard line goes Garrett Wilson. There you go. That's a good. This shows you again. Boyle hadn't played a lot of football, but he feels this blitz and knows he's got that that quick hot to Garrett Wilson. So easy execution, but it's just a recognition of that coming and having an answer for it. First time that the Jets have been in Dolphins territory tonight on this drive. Caught here by Jeremy Rucker. So they finally do get something going. <laughs> And really, that's the area that I think they had the most confidence in, the style of defense Miami plays, is trying to find those the tight runner, ends between those the linebackers. Is a little short of the line to gain. Okay, so they have to reposition the sticks. Second down and short. They had initially moved them as if it were a first down. Administrative stoppage here. As they called it. 
Play clock, game clock operator, please set the game clock to 10.52, please. 10.52, All right. because we had to reset the ball. We'll put the clock back in the status that it was when the runner was down. The clock will start on my ready signal, please. Okay, your time stands still. It's the second down and in inches now. They're going to rule that incomplete and taking that shot there was Rucker from Elliott. <laughs> Tell you these two safeties each week get better and better with their communication and how hard they'll hit you. And they get downhill and, and a lot of times Holland will sit back in center field. Elliott will come down into the box. He gets there just in time to separate that football. And the quarterback sneak, and they finally convert on third down. Well, again, it was 0 for 11 last week. Oof. And it was 0 for 8, 19 3. Going into the tent right now for Miami, is that's Lester Cotton, the left guard. Austin Jackson's already been thrown out. Ball is loose, and that time it is ruled incomplete as Van Ginkle pops Garrett Wilson. Second down to 10. Now they keep working the middle there, and, and, and you know, for good reason. You have quickness in Wilson. We've seen the tight ends try to get in there. Wilson trying to get away from Jerome Baker. Just that bobble gives Baker a chance to catch up to it and knock it away. A flip, short game, Brees home. The Jets had run 22 plays before this drive. They've now run 14 on this drive. There's Phillips down on the uh, turf. So third down, third and nine. As they look at uh, the pass rusher, Jalen Phillips, and we'll be back. There's never been learned about this guy who's had a heck of a year. And of course, you, you know his, yeah. his history when he played at uh, UCLA. Yeah, he was at UCLA. This is a, these are the, the scary injuries when you, you don't get touched. It's just his first couple of steps, and then he just goes down. You know, and, and this is a guy that's been through a lot. At UCLA, early in his career, he, he had some injuries, took a concussion. He medically retired from the game. He was done. Went to Miami of Florida. Got it back together, decided to play, and good enough to get drafted by the Dolphins. So, been challenged throughout his career. Step away here. Agonizing, having a great year. Kirk talked about situation in college and retiring from football and coming back and off on the cart. Meanwhile, as this drive continues, you've got action up front and will blow this one. Dead. Emmanuel Ogbach took over for Phillips. That was a third and nine. Who moved first is the question. This is on infraction. Defense number 91. Five yard penalty. Third down. And that's Ogbach who just came into the game. You know, and, and I think depending on the severity of that injury to Phillips, if he is down for extended period of time, Andrew Van Ginkle, 43, who we talked about his versatility outside and can play off ball inside linebacker, he and 91 Ogba will be the two that will have to step up there to help out with uh, Phillips is down. Third and four, 15th play of the drive. Look out. Now you got Boyle. Being spun around, he got a flag down, he got everything going on there. Jerome Baker that time. I think that's on the quarterback. He he was expecting the ball and, and moved. We'll see who they call it. You saw Baker coming across. Flag thrown. But I think Baker's reacting as much to to boil there. He started to skate on his way in. There are two fouls on the play, one by each team. 
Offside, def defense number 55. Holding, offense number 66. Those penalties will offset. Replay third down. Get back once we began. Third and four. Four, throw it underneath, and close to a first down and picking it up. Brees Hall. Uh, I, honestly, this is, I think, the kind of drive with, that they envisioned. You know, when, when we talked with them this week, they thought that there's a really good chance the ball was going to get out, throwing it quick, get it out into those quick slants, get it out to Brees Hall against a linebacker. Anyway, you can, your two playmakers are Brees Hall and Garrett Wilson. Those are the guys you know what they can do. Drips and drabs. They had two first downs all night coming into this drive. They've had five on this drive. And another sack. Zach Sealer comes in and takes him down. And that'll be a handful. Five sacks tonight for the Dolphins. Yeah, he looks right. He doesn't have anybody open and he doesn't have a check down so he has nothing to do with his football we've seen this a lot this year with this Jets offense quarterbacks primary even second read not there and just has to eat it well up in the air deflected intercepted Dolphins ball So on the 17th play of a seven-minute drive, Jerome Baker with the pick. Seven. Comfortably in front. You got Darrington Evans, who just came off the, the list. Practices. So Mike McDaniel tells us a story that we're talking to him. And I said, tell me a Sacramento Mountain Lion story. They're the United Football League, 2010. He's the running backs coach. They blow out Omaha. They go to the a nightclub to celebrate. One of the running backs that he coaches is dancing with a girl. And Mike says, listen, you're not dancing with her anymore or you're not playing with his team next year. So the guy says, well, what, what, what can I do? So the McDaniel starts dancing with her. That's the beginning of the story. Again, Evans. So the bottom line. Where am I leading? Yeah, we're, we're, this is four years. Four years later, they're married. Katie, that's how I met her. Hey, you, get off. I'm dancing with her, right? Unbelievable. Courtship. He is. That's a classic. <laughs> he is fantastic to talk to. What? A, that's that's an all-time story. His owner didn't even know that. No, I, 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 I don't think anybody's heard that. Story. I told Stephen Ross before. He said, "What?" He said, "That's the best story I ever heard." And there they are. The McDaniels. Second and seven. Fumble. Jets think they have it. And coming away with it is Ashton Davis. We're rolling on the field. You just said fumble, Evans just came the over. Defense, and first down. There's a miscommunication, which we've not seen a lot of. And if, you, if you're concerned about Miami, they're going to score on a lot of people they play. They're going to be a tough out. This is the concern, the execution, the potential to turn the football over. We've talked a lot about the Jets turning it over and hurting themselves. Miami's got to avoid that as they get ready. Well, the Jets have it at the 35, and uh, an errant throw here intended for Brees Hall. We were kind of... I don't want to say have fun, but we were pointing out their third down, how inept they were last couple weeks. It's been the case all year. You know, they're right around 23% on third downs. It's the lowest conversion rate in 50 years in the NFL. Yeah, I mean, it's numbers upon numbers when you look at that, that offense. And, you know, you wonder in nine days, do you go back to Tim Boyle? Do you go to Trevor Simeon? Do you bring Zach Wilson back? I don't know. I'm not sure you do that. I don't know. I don't think that's yeah. going to happen. No, probably not. 28-yard line catch made there. 
It's Brownlee. Kaylee, what you got? Well, guys, after seeing Dolphins linebacker Jalen Phillips carted off the field, we were told it is his Achilles, and of course he is out for the game. Oh, and a lot longer. That's a big hit. You, know, you obviously yeah. wish him well. And for the Dolphins defense, you know, it's, it's, it's going to be a big loss down the stretch of this season. Third and two. Catch made inside the 20. You know, these formations that they're using. It's Holland who's down, by the way. Yeah. That, that's another great player you'd like mm. to, to see get up. Big collision there. You always worry about defensive players lowering their head here. This is why you have those rules. 539 left injury timeout. We come from people we can be proud of. Be the division winners, Baltimore, Miami, Kansas City. You know what I mean. Second down and one. And that is going to be caught at the one yard line. That's Xavier Gibson. The kick return to get it to the one. Hurrying up to the line of scrimmage. Can they get an offensive touchdown? What do you know? Touchdown. Garrett Wilson. So after the turnover, they go th 35 yards, six plays, and 148. Actually, had a Miami had a bust on this, and if he wanted to, he could have thrown to 82. Watch both corners run with with Garrett Wilson. He's all alone there to the left, but instead he takes the hard way and still throws a touchdown pass. Their tenth offensive touchdown. In this, their 11th game, and uh, for those of you who we talked about earlier, the all-important extra point is good by Greg Zerline. 4.37 remaining in the fourth quarter at MetLife. 27-13. Truly has called both of those. I've called every game called in every the game. history of the National Football League. Meanwhile, yeah. onside kick attempted from Morstead, who in the Su Super Bowl had a successful onside kick when he was a Saint, but not this time. Dolphins with Duke Riley covering it to retain possession here. So 27 13, four and a half to go. See that number down at the bottom left with two, it looks like a good night. And then you, again, you see those two interceptions. That That is going to be the focal point for this Miami team. And we just talked about who they have coming up next three weeks and trying to get that maybe that one seed. Got to eliminate those turnovers. The Dolphins trying to try to choose some clock here. Mostert. It'll be second down. Timeout taken by the Jets. Bless it. Kaylee, what you got? Well, guys, you know, Aaron Rodgers had his Achilles repaired 10 weeks ago using a cutting edge technique. It's known as a speed bridge repair. It's a vastly different procedure than the traditional Achilles surgery. And Dr. Neil Elitrosh, who I know you know well, Al, he used a high string suture tape to reunite the ruptured tendon and then fix two strong anchors into the heel bone to share the load. This reduces the stress on the healing tendon, allowing for more aggressive rehab. And Aaron told me pregame, another one of the keys to his quick recovery is that he's just a stubborn patient. Yeah, well, he's a, a pretty good patient. And Dr. Elitrosh, of course, has built a fantastic reputation and very deservedly so. I swear half the NFL injured reserve list is under his care. Moser gets taken down. By the way, lest anybody throw me out of the stadium for the Jets since I, you know, Second. did the butt yeah, fumble yeah. game. It's on you. Tonight, it's on me. This but I did do the miracle at the Meadowlands out. back in 2000, one of the craziest games ever. 23-point lead late in the game for Miami. Jets tied it. Fiedler led Miami down the field to take the lead again, and then a tackle eligible pass to Jumbo Elliott from Vinny Testaverde. Oh, game yeah. ended at like 1.18 in the morning in overtime. And Arnold Schwarzenegger came into the booth on Monday Night Football with the Jets down by, you know, 23 points and said, I guarantee the Jets 
will win the game. They will come from behind. Wayne Corbett will be a star, and the Dolphins will be terminated. <laughs> Down by 23. What did Arnold know? Wow. Right? Somebody Dang. handed him a card. Yeah. He went back to the hotel, and the next day he's the uh, he's big story on headline news. He had that vision. That, that's, that's another all-time memory. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's the first down here for Mostert. You've caught, caught a lot of these games that are just, people are going to remember that interception for a long time. They will. For a wrong reasons. Well, the back-to-back -back pick sixes. Yeah. One on top of another. I mean, if, if, you don't, if, you, if Holland doesn't return that, it's 10-6, right? Exactly. At, at half. And, and, and the way the, the Jets half. have looked these last couple series, right? Well, that, that's kind of game that they thought it could be. They were hoping. Big hole. Going to the end zone. Icing on the cake. Touchdown, Mostert. Off he goes with 34 yards. Keep uh, talking. I'm sorry. I was no. like, keep talking about these backups and and how often it you know it's it's poor execution when the backups come in. Watch Liam Eichenberg, who's known really as a tackle, do a really good job of just sustaining that. And when you have a, a, a back like Moser who's got speed, what he also has is he gets lateral, uses his vision, he's patient, and then he's got the burst and it allows all those linemen to be able to secure those blocks and move that defensive line laterally, and then he sneaks through that, uh, finds that crease for a touchdown. Extra point by Sanders to make it 34 13 Dolphins and back we come in 30 seconds. Fouled out into the parking lot with three and a half to go. 34 13 Miami. So perhaps the beginning of a, a new NFL tradition, a Black Friday game. So a new thing, the first time you've called a, a pro game, obviously, on a Friday. Yeah, but well, Al, you, you've called every day of the week when you look at all these games. You think about Sunday night football, Monday night football, obviously, but how about Tuesdays? A re that was the delayed by a rainstorm Wednesday you've called a game the Thursday you've called Abu season the the uh, the Pro Bowl but every hundred and twelve NFL games rolling through my head right now the Beatles eight days a week <laughs> fortunately there's just seven look out down he goes here ball is loose that was Agba coming in but the Jets able to to keep it well, we, we saw Phillips go down. You talked about Agba. I mentioned Van Ginkle. These are going to be the guys who are going to have to emerge at those outside linebacker spots, which in Vic Fangio's system, that, that's paramount to have these kind of players. And 91 there steps up, plays nicely. Second and 19. It's caught. Not a flat here. To the 25 yard line goes Ruckert. Tight end. Coming to the line in a hurry for what it's worth. Third down, third and ten. So, Al, 712 games. Right off the top of your head, which one stands out? Is there one that stands one? out? One? Yeah. Oh, well, well, the which Super Bowl? Well, two Super Bowls. Arizona, Pittsburgh, and Seattle, New England. Yeah. Two good ones. Oh, yeah, I'll say. <laughs> Catch made here, and that's going to be enough for a first down, Garrett Wilson. And the Cincinnati uh, Rams game that you had in a couple that was, years. That was a good absolutely. one. Absolutely. That, yeah. was, that was great. It's funny, there's so many Super Bowls, which in the early years were routes and one-sided games, and all of a sudden, you know, after about Super Bowl, like, 25 or yeah. so, most of them have become... Yep. That pass is incomplete. I had the Giants Buffalo game back in uh, the Super Bowl in 1990. Came no, down to that last field goal. No good wide right. Scott Norton. Is that your fault, too? That's my, <laughs> it's my fault. Of course it's my fault. <laughs> of course. Why would you even ask? Hey, Tuesday, Tuesday, sit hot. They call me Mr. Kabosh. <laughs> Second and ten.
Backhanded catch made up at the 39 yard line to Gary Wilson. McNeito in on that tackle. And rolling down to the two minute warning. But the two it was 21 of 30 for 243. And on third and six, the final play before the two minute warning is a catch. A broken tackle and a first down to move the sticks as Dalvin Cook makes the grab. So after the game, stay tuned. The two minute warning. JC Penny post game show exclusively on Prime for Video. Carissa and the gang checking it all out. Kaylee the star. <laughs> yes, tell me about it. Well, I had to send it back three times. <laughs> We finally got it. Anyway, hope everybody out there had a happy Thanksgiving, happy day after, working off the trip to Finn. Working our I'll be flying tonight. You're flying back home. I got to go to Ann Arbor for Ohio State, Michigan. Your typical weekend, right? Yeah. Well, yeah, you're going, to the, you're going there for the game day. The game day in the morning. Then you're calling right. the game Saturday night in Florida. Yeah, down to Gainesville tomorrow night. Right. And the Dolphins will head back to Florida. After tonight's game, and uh, they'll be taking with them a record of eight and three. Seven-yard pickup here for Xavier Gibson. I, I, I was surprised when we looked back last time the Dolphins went to the Super Bowl, 1984. Dan Marino, second year, 38 seasons ago, last playoff win for Miami, 2000. Yeah. 84 was Marino's only Super Bowl, second year in the league. Joe Montana won the game. Going deep into double coverage, and that's incomplete. By the way, you should know I did the pregame, halftime, and postgame of that Super Bowl at Stanford Stadium. Covered it all. Covered it all. And my analysts were Tom Landry and O.J. Simpson. Yes, sir. There you have it. We're just throwing out everything tonight. Yeah, right? yeah. Wait, wait a second. I didn't. Tom Landry did TV once. Yeah. So they hired him to do the Tom. He was he was a good partner. I had to yeah. teach him a little bit about you know television. But uh, yep, we were there at Stanford Stadium that day. That's when Rune Arledge would hire you know just whoever the flavor of the moment was. Yeah. And a sack again here. This time he got Deshaun Hand. Well, they are just teeing off yeah. at this point. This is another Alabama defensive lineman. You get into obvious passing situations, and they do a really good job at that simulated pressure where they show one look and go to another and make you react to it and confuse the offensive lineman, create some one-on-one -on -one matchups, and Hand has power. That time he shows quickness. So fourth down and 14. He's been sacked six times, not a seventh, fortunately. That'll turn the ball over and take us to the finish line after a snap or two. Nick Borden is right there. So the Jets will limp out of here. Four game losing streak. Four and seven. The Jets, meanwhile, on the right hand side there, Atlanta and Houston come here. This is the first of three straight home for the postseason, but that home field advantage would be huge for Mike McDaniel and the Dolphins. That was Mike White, meanwhile, who came in uh, as a Dolphin now last year with the, the Jets, who took that snap and the kneel down. So he does get into the game. To wrap it up, Tyreek Hill tonight had a total of nine grabs for 102 yards. Waddle at 114. Thank you. Good luck. Two getting uh, congratulated by one Tim Boyle. Ten offensive TDs this season, the fewest uh, through this period of time going back to 09. And the Dolphins on the other side of that coin with 40 plus touchdowns. And again, that. Dolphin offense tonight, racking up a total of 396 yards.